I'm Tommy Roberts. I live in Baltimore, Maryland. I'm an artist and I'm uh, having fun doing it. I was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy uh, at the age of nine. I was physically able from the age of uh, infancy to nine, and um, I started slowing down in school as far as running and being able to climb and keeping up with all the kids. So my mother was concerned, and so she uh, arranged an appointment for me at John Hopkins Hospital. And they gave me a full examination and test, and they diagnosed that I had muscular dystrophy. They didn't know exactly what form at the time, but then they later on discovered it was Becker. The Becker dystrophy has prevent me from lifting my arms like over my head or standing or lifting my legs. Being able to just bend over and get back up with uh, swiftness. I think having the muscle dystrophy and the Becker, it has helped me as an artist because it, it, hel it helps me look at things in a more mental and more spiritual way than seeing everything in physical terms. In the beginning, I could run, I could walk, and then it got to the point where I couldn't walk unless I was doing a tippy-toe thing, you know, that's usually the scenario with someone who has muscular dystrophy. I can do it, but I just have to use different angles and body positions to move around and to get out of bed and all that stuff. Well, when I paint, I, uh, put down a footrest, I put my leg on top of the footrest, and then I lean my left arm against my knee and hold my uh, right arm with my left arm to keep balance and keep my hand steady while I paint. When I was in kindergarten, I, I was introduced to art. I just enjoyed it. I was very good at it. Over the years, I just I used to draw um, characters from watching TV. It's more than just drawing and painting what you see. You have to, you know, as you get older in your art career, you draw more of what you feel and what you think. Because you want to create an atmosphere and a mood in your paintings, looking at other artists like Monet and Degas and Picasso and Sicily and all those and fresh impressions. I try to learn as much as I can from them. And that's, that's the advantage of really going to a museum and seeing things, you know see it up close and personal. When you get into the fine arts, it's more personal. It's more, it's more deep from your heart, from in here, you know. I fell so in love with the fine art, the painting, the basic drawing, and so I saying this is what I wanted to do, just do it for the, you know, the joy at painting and drawing. The piece I painted behind me of Jimi Hendrix, he's one of my, it, it, well, he's my favorite guitar player of all time. I have several of them, but he's one of the most creative. I wanted to, to, to depict the energy that's come from him and his instrument. Coltrane, the electric miles, and the swing are proudly hanging in Tucson, Arizona. I like going out to jazz clubs because the, the music inspires me to paint. Not just jazz music, all forms of music inspires me. Coltrane I, I did because I, I, he's one of my favorite um, jazz saxophone players and and listen to his music you can just see colors and you can feel feel the atmosphere that he creates with his horn and I wanted to capture that on the canvas. You know I was I was about nine and uh, I just felt well, why is this happening to me and I asked mom why is this happening to me and she really didn't have answers for me but she just said that, you know, one day you, you'll, you'll be back to normal. She kept faith like that, you know. They'll find a cure or something for this. I'm trying to think about things getting worse. I always think about trying to get better. Every day I have of life is, is, is pressure to me.